So to glass the inside of the forward storage compartment, we'll cut our glass into three pieces so it's easier to manage. A left, right, and forward. We'll tab up the side about three inches and we'll overlap on the keel about two inches. We'll come all the way up with our epoxy, but not with our glass. We'll do two coats of epoxy here to seal the wood before we prime it. For our piece at the front, we came all the way to the top and came back about six to eight inches just to reinforce the bow. Or we're going to put our D-ring for hooking the boat. There's going to be a lot of force applied to this area, so we want to reinforce it. So we've glassed our front compartment. We've got two coats of epoxy on all of our bare wood, and it's tacked up. Right now we have two choices. We can continue to let it dry, we can sand it, and then apply our primer and paint. Or, while it's still tacky, we can go ahead and apply an epoxy based paint. I'm going to do this because it's an interior compartment. I'm not really worried about finish, and this will save me a lot of time and effort. Next, we'll move back and cover the sealed compartments under the floor. Anywhere that we don't have a fillet, we can take our tongue depressor, stir stick, and pull our fillets in these spots. So to glass this section, we'll take our chip brush, we'll paint the whole inside, make sure we coat all the wood with resin. Unfortunately, this part of the video did not record correctly, so we'll have to use photos. Once the compartments are coated with epoxy, apply fiberglass to the keel and chine joints highlighted here in green. The keel strip should be 6 inches wide, 3 inches on each side of the center line. The chine strip should be about 9 inches wide. That will allow you to cover the chine and overlap the sides and the bottom 2 to 3 inches. Because these compartments will be filled with foam, you don't need to glass the entire compartment. Mm -hmm. 